Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about lash baths, why you give them, how you should give them. First of all, guys, I wanna tell you thank you so much for helping me reach 6,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. My channel has kind of been taking a nap for a little bit, and I kind of feel like these videos are appealing to you guys more, and hopefully, they're help. <clears throat> I'm getting sick. Hopefully, they're helpful to you, and let me know what you wanna see. And what I wanted to talk about today to you guys was about lash baths. Um, basically why you give them, why you should give them, um, you know, just things like that. And I'm going to talk to you about the products that I use. Um, nothing special, it just has to be a cleanser. Um, I get the one by Daisy Lash. Well, it does the job, I mean, it does the dang thing. I do want to get the one from Barbaletta, Barbaletta. Um, but yeah, it doesn't cause irritation to my clients, like no, no problems so far. So that's pretty much why I go back to it over and over again because some products are stingy and you're working around the eyes and you have to be definitely, you gotta be thinking about that, you know? All right, so why you should give a lash bath is you always wanna start with a clean slate. Um, I know like you can prime the eyes and I always go ahead and do a lash bath first and then I'll go ahead and go in and prime the eyes anyways because after giving a lash bath, you're bringing a lot of moisture into the lashes and you do want to prime to dry them out so if I sound a little nasally it's because I'm getting sick and I'm very sorry okay so like I said to do a lash bath there are so many different ways if you want to see like a direct video of me doing it I probably should have done that but I'll explain in my other video why there's just like no time um, but yeah so you just what I do is I put a dot on the back of my hand on the back of my clean sanitized hand calm down guys but then I take this little brush, and you can buy these off of Amazon um, for I think like a pack of seven or five for like seven bucks, something like that, I don't know. But what I do is I go ahead and tape them, tape them off and make sure, you know, everything's good, the pad, the tape, all the stuff. Put my dot and I go ahead and press it onto the foam. I pick up all the foam as you can see, and I do try to add a little moisture as well. Um, this is what I use. This is the bottle that I, you know, I'll give it like a drop over a napkin. Obviously, right now I'm wetting myself. And then from the lashes, I just kind of work in little circular motions and I swipe down. I never swipe up just because. And you just want to swipe down. Don't be afraid to lose some lashes because those were probably coming off anyways. Um, but it's really simple. I'm pretty sure if you Google, if you YouTube Lash Bath, you will get many videos from it. But um, that's what I like to do for. The purpose is you're gonna get a clean slate to work off. You're gonna get amazing retention if you take the time to give your clients a lash bath. Um, especially for new clients, you wanna get all the oil, the dirt, everything off their eyelashes. You don't know exactly where they were or what they were doing. Like, what if they were working at McDonald's, getting grease all up in their eyes? Like, these lashes, these lashes have your name written on them so if they don't look good it's on you and if they fall really fast it's on you and then the words are gonna spread and me I don't know personally like how you guys work but I or how you get your clients but I get them off um, word of mouth and word of mouth is the biggest deal and there goes the heater so anyway um, always give a lash bath I always apply this and I go ahead and brush and do my little circular motions then I take my dryer and I dry the lashes and then I go ahead and get my two micro swabs and I prime the every lash and I try to get them as dry as I can I dry them suckers like I'm there with the dryer like this until they are good to go like super dry and um, to rinse off the shampoo I go ahead and I bought these bottles they were like a pack of two for very cheap, very cheap on Amazon. I like it because it's like leak proof, you know, and then it just like squirts the amount of water you need. Um, so it doesn't like over, I used to use like one of those um, sauce bottles and it just, it's a mess, like it just goes everywhere. Um, I put a tissue on the side of the eye and then I use cotton pads. Or if you have like clients that freak out too much, um, what I like to do is I take a cotton swab and I fill it with water and then I kind of just squeeze it over like so you don't alarm them too much. You can kind of read off of your client like how they are, you know? 
fat that's really really important it's gonna hold really good it's gonna give you really good retention for your lashes and it's gonna keep your customers it's gonna keep their lashes clean you also always want to be sure to tell your clients exactly how it is um, like educate them you know tell them hey you have to give yourself lash baths because if they come in with dirty grimy lashes you need to take a picture a before picture and you need to show them what the status is and you need to tell them like hey if you want more lashes like maybe try to give yourself more lash you know explain to them you guys you're in control of what you do and how your lashes are gonna last and it's a work in progress it, it sucks it's a struggle sometimes I feel like giving up and every client is different and every lash set is ugh, it's it's a struggle if you are a lash tech if you're starting out don't give up but anyway that's it guys I hope that it helped you somewhat um, let me know if you want to know anything else um, I'm gonna try to do some quick little tip videos so this was just a quick little tip it is Christmas Eve I'm here filming some videos because I have some time off so Hopefully you guys have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year if I don't see you until next year. Um, yeah, goodbye.